a jacket, hat, and gloves are just a few of the brand new wildland fire rescue equipment that multiple fire rescue stations across Northwest Georgia have received ahead of wildfire season. So what other preparations are in place and why? Right here we have the leaf blower making fire breaks. Firefighters from Catoosa County Fire Rescue demonstrated each piece of new equipment they received. Yeah, it's a little thicker. Yeah, it's fire resistant. Allowing us firsthand to try them out. Got a brush rake. Learning just how much these pieces of equipment are needed for preparation against the nearing wildfire season. Things wear out. Uh, things need to be replaced. Especially following last year's wildfire season. Very much needed. After 3,000 plus wildfires were reported in Georgia in 2023, according to National Interagency Fire Center. In our northwest region, we had 621 fires last year, um, 4,300 acres total burn. With the Georgia Forestry Commission already planning for the coming years. As we were finishing up around Thanksgiving last year, we're already preparing for the for the next season that we know is always coming. But the Catoosa County Fire Chief says there's been some relief. We've been very fortunate. We haven't had a whole lot of, uh, of acreage burned in Catoosa County like we have in years past. Despite a large part of our viewing area still remaining in a severe drought category. Things easily, easily catch fire. Now able to assist multiple fire stations in Northwest Georgia to better fight the flames after a grant from the U.S. Forestry Service provided about $36,000 in equipment to each fire department. We're very prepared to move forward using this equipment. Wait, this is actually really cool. <laughs> uh, having these brush rakes, having these blowers, um, you know, we're able to clear the materials that would burn and push them towards the fire to where you've got less area that's going to end up burning. To better serve not only the firefighters, but also the surrounding communities. In Catoosa County, Lexi Horvath, News Channel 9. We appreciate you making News Channel 9 your trusted source for local news. For more updates on this and other breaking news stories, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.